Good morning, babe. Hey, beautiful. I'm Good so tired. It's like I didn't sleep last night. Now, um, babe, can you get up and fix me breakfast? I live in the next five minutes. Sweetie, I'm just waking up and I said I'm tired. God, babe, I can't leave the house this morning without breakfast again. But you can make it yourself. And make me want you, please. Are you being serious right now? Yes. You said you have five minutes left, so you can fix yourself some breakfast. By the way, it's been a long time since you've made me breakfast in bed. Mm? <laughs> oh, you know, that's true. So tell me, what do you want, Your Majesty? I don't mind bread and some egg. Oh, make sure it's scrambled egg and a cup of hot tea will do. All right, cool. No, bread, scrambled eggs and a cup of hot tea coming right up. I see why I'm married you. You're the best husband. I know, right? <laughs> Love you. Yeah. Love you too. The chairman um, has said that he wants you to be the one to monitor that project directly and he's also instructed the team head to report to you and not to me like you delegated earlier. Why do I always have to do everything? You know you can't ask him that when you see him. It's like this man is seriously trying to frustrate me out of this car. Oh, that's like saying that the snow is white. <laughs> There's really no point sitting the obvious, Victor. You know, it's bad enough that he demoted me and slashed my salary. Why does he always have to come after me? Not just you. He's coming after everyone. Everyone here is complaining. Even me, because knows that my days here are really not good. Victor, where are you? I'm at work. Work? Victor, what happened to my breakfast in bed? I see you do not understand the concept of sarcasm, Stephanie. Wait, then why would you tell me you would bring breakfast in bed if you know you are not going to do it? I was running late and you were unreasonable enough to ask for breakfast in bed? It's not only breakfast in bed, it's breakfast in the garden. Me? Unreasonable. So now it's a crime to remind you on how to be romantic. Listen, Stephanie, I'm at work and I'm very busy. No, but you know what you can do here? Get into the kitchen. Fix yourself breakfast, take it into the room, have it in bed, and that will solve your breakfast in bed desire. Not so. I hope there is no problem. Stephanie has to be the most irrational person on earth. Why would you talk about your wife like that? I mean, tell me, what kind of stay-home wife will ask a working husband to make breakfast in bed on a Monday morning? Um, a woman. Yes, baby. Lagos is fine. It's my second week with the company and uh, it's been interesting so far. 
Edward? Edward is fine. I've not seen him this morning though. Oh, he just walked in. Papa Shaw. Hold on. Oh. Mike. Oh, okay. Hey, bro. <laughs> What's good? I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh, not to worry, she's she's settling well. It's fine. Huh? Oh boy, relax, I beg. What's your problem? Relax, don't worry. I'm here, I'm in charge, I'll look after her, okay? I'll protect her from the devouring clouds of Lagos, guys. Relax, relax. <laughs> Of course, of course. Um, if she needs anything that I cannot give, then I'll let you know. All right. Take care now. Cheers. Bye. Hello, baby. Okay, okay. No problem. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Love you too. Mwah. So, how are you? Fine. Okay, so I'd like for you to tell me how are you enjoying your work experience here so far? It's okay. It's good. Good? Yep. Right. Do you have a family here in Lagos that you're putting up with? No, I'm staying with a friend, but her place is really comfortable. Is it? Very comfortable. Are you sure? Very sure. Okay, if you say so. Um, remember, if you need anything. No problem. Thank you. Hey babe. Hello, my love. Please tell me you made dinner. Uh, uh. Of course I made dinner. I made fried rice and fried chicken. You're the best. I know. Please get it ready. I will. No, that is what you say all the time, but you never call back. Well, that's because you always ask the one question that I don't have the answer to every time I talk. When are you going to get married? That's the question. Look, Mom, I don't like that you make it sound like I need a man to validate me. So you don't have plans to get married? What kind of talk is this, Rachel? Mom, can we talk later? No, 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 no. We will talk now. And you will listen to all I have to say. After all, it's my credit I'm using, not yours. Okay. Speak on her listen. I don't know the kind of orientation you've been getting in that your Lagos lately. But there's no way I will fold my arms and let you remain single forever. Stephanie, where is dinner? Huh? What dinner? What do you mean, what dinner? The same dinner you said you made before I went into freshen up. Oh! So I am not the only one that doesn't understand sarcasm after all. Huh? Look, Steph. I'm 
being serious. I am super hungry and I need my wife to serve me food. That's the same thing you said in the morning. Go and serve yourself dinner. Are you being serious right now? Yes, I am, Victor. Yes, I am. I'm watching a movie. Don't tell me that nonsense. Don't tell me that nonsense. Ah, I raised you better than to think that it is all right for a woman not to be married. What, 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 what is this what turning into? Eh? All these you children of nowadays. Would you have been born if I had decided I wasn't going to get married? If it's a case of spiritual husband, you can talk to me as your mother. We can begin to find solution together. No woman in her right senses will not prioritize marriage. You are behaving as if you have all the time in the world to start having kids of your own. Menopause comes early these days, so in case you don't know. How can you not have ordinary, ordinary boyfriend at your age? Eh? Are you there, Rachel? Yes, mommy, I'm here. I've, I've heard everything you've said. It is not okay, Hope. It is not okay for you to hear. It is important to take my advice and make yourself available for any man to marry you. Okay, mom. Listen, Abuja is not that far from Lagos. I will come to Lagos. If no, no, I mommy, mommy, it's not answer. necessary. There's no need. I've said my own. Bye bye. I didn't know your mom has been worried too. What do you mean by worried too? Babe. I've been worried since you told me you've not been in any relationship in the last three years. I don't understand why you, my mom, or anybody's worried for me. Are you sure you're not bothered? Why should I be bothered? I have my cake business to focus on. I'm happy your cake business is doing fine. But you can't deny the fact that there are other important things in life to achieve as well. Listen. I bottled up my anger because I didn't want to shout at my mother. But you're not my mother and I will not hesitate to transfer my aggression to you. Good morning, dear. Do you want some tea, too? I will pour myself a cup if I want one. Suit yourself. You owe me an apology, though, but you can give it whenever you're ready. An apology for what, if I may ask? For a lot of things, actually. But you can start off with that stunt you put on me yesterday with my simple breakfast in bed request. You starved me last night, Stephanie. Victor, you've been starving me for months. You've been starving me of care, attention and affection. What are you talking about? When was the last time you took me out? When was the last time you bought me gifts? When was the last time you called me from work? And a simple breakfast in bed. Oh, it's now a big deal. Madam, I am working to earn a living to secure both our financial future. Oh, please. Give me a break, oh God. I'm not happy. It's not even a year. Uh, meeting because everybody here vouched for you. Uh, 
have a huge responsibility on that to put you in charge of if you, you think you can handle it. I'm a bit nervous because I don't know what it is. It's simple. Um, I would like you to confirm track records of external contractors that some of our customers will be putting in charge of some of their building projects. Okay, sir. Now, um, let me explain further. Our company allows our customers to um, bring in their own builders on the landed properties that we sell to them in our estate. Now, but having said that, it's also very important that we confirm the proficiency and expertise of these external contractors before we approve. Um, do you understand what I want you to do now? I do, sir. But I need to know what and what exactly I'm supposed to confirm about these contractors. Okay, I'll, I'll explain to you. Um, it's really simple. Now, when these external contractors come here, they come here with their company's profile. So your job would be to ensure that everything in that file is correct and confirmed. Okay, now, th this is simple. Um, these are the things you look out for. Company registration. Of course, you know that's important. Um, tax certificate. Very important. And then most importantly, past project records. That's very important because we need to know their history and what they're capable of doing. All right. So naturally, these are things that I handle on the regular, but um, I um, have a lot on my hands right now. That's why I brought you in to, to look at it because you just might want to take back. It could be urgent. The generator won't start. Huh? I'm trying to turn on the gen, but it's not starting. And you call me because of that? Yes, now. I was watching my favorite soap, then the power went off, and I came outside to turn on this thing, but it's not turning on. Okay, so what do you want me to do about that from what? I don't know. Are you busy? Well, I was thinking you could drive home quickly and help me to turn it on. I don't want to miss my favorite soul. You know, Stephanie, you say the most unreasonable things sometimes. You want me to leave work, drive home to you, to put on the generator so that you can watch TV? What, is that too much to ask? No, it's not. Um, um, I'll pay my reason. Wait. Are you being serious or is this sarcasm again? Uh, you'll find out soon. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Sorry about that. This is, uh, where were we? Alright. Uh... First off, I'd like to um, let you know a few things, okay? You see, there's a lot of politics going on in this company, as it is, and the new management is uh, trying to frustrate the people here by downsizing. So they get um, a man to do the job of four. I noticed. Good. And that is why I have introduced you to Victor. Okay, and I want him to put you on that project. But if you are not up to it, um, it's fine. I can get someone to, you know. No, no, it's, it's it. not a problem. I like the challenge. So. You sure? Yeah, I'll do it. One second, please. Uh, hello. 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 Yes, I can hear you. Uh, Mama Soup. <laughs> Good morning. No, 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 you can't, you can't um, deliver the soup now. I am at work. Yes, I work. You can only deliver in the evenings. Yes, in the evenings. Uh, um, Mama Sue, please. Um, I hope that um, your girls told you my order when I ordered. I hope that the white soup was made to my specification. Yeah, the way I ordered it. Yes. Uh, I like, okay, I'll enjoy it. All right. Thank you very much. So, evenings will be proper when I'm back from work. Okay, so yes, once I, I'm back home in the evening, I'll let you know.
You too, take care. Sorry, that was um, that was the woman from the soup store where I ordered soup. You ordered soup? Yes, I ordered soup. It's an online soup store uh, where they make the best of you know African delicacies, especially local <laughs> soups. And how does your girlfriend feel about that? Well, I don't have a girlfriend. Be serious. I am serious. I have been single for almost a year now. I just haven't found the right person, so it was a rush. Okay. Not interested. Come on. Okay, meet the guy first. Not interested. I know your problem. You do? Yes. Okay. You don't take advantage of dating opportunities. That's the major issue you have. Babe, matchmaking just screams desperation and no guy respects a desperate lady. And see, this is not 1980. These days people meet people through different ways. It's not like he met you on a dating site or something. And what is the difference? I know both of you on a personal level. And both of you are good people. Take it from me, you will not regret this. Trust me. Okay. Let me think about it. You know, I really wonder what your brain is made of. Like, you call me while I'm at the office to come and put on the generator for you. Is it that you deliberately come up with new ways to annoy me every single day? Why do you take offense at everything that I do nowadays? Why? You didn't ask me for the generator make mix number. You asked me to leave work to come home to you. Well, you should have suggested that option over the phone now. Eh? You know, go over them again and again and again before you open your mouth and form them into words. Victor, please just stop it. Don't make me look like I am stupid. That generator has been malfunctioning since last week and you, as the man of the house, should have attended to that problem. Anyway, I have solved it. I ordered a new generator online. They'll deliver it by tomorrow. I'm not understanding. How do you expect to pay for that? Well, I'm sure you know the answer to that question. Hey, it's nice to look these pictures for me. Tell me which one is finest. I like this one. They're all fine, actually. Who's this guy? That said what? Who's it? My colleague, the one I told you about. He's cute, right? Take. We need no. Come on now. I said no. One date. I said no. Can't you respect that? Fine. I'm going to walk. I'll see you later. Yeah, bye. I told you to cancel that order. We don't need a new generator. Stephanie, you cannot ask me to transfer money to you for another I told you to cancel. You know what? I'm at work and I'm busy, okay? Uh, looks to me now like it's um, one day, one new trouble with you and Stephanie. Can you imagine? She ordered a generator to replace the old one that's barely a year old. And she wants me to transfer money to her. Did she not um, seek your consent before 
place in that order. Edward, word of advice, never get married. I hear you. Victor, can I be honest with you? Sure. With all due respect to your wife, the truth is that you have always known that staff was an irrational sport, Brad. And you never had a problem with her excess illogicality when the both of you were dating back then. And what is that supposed to mean? What it simply means is there is nothing that woman is doing right now that should come as a surprise to you. You saw it all back then. You didn't have a problem with it. You who were accepting and accommodating. You claimed to understand. So, you know, it is what it is. Why are you supporting her? I'm not supporting her. Victor, I am trying to put things in perspective for you. All right. Can you remember one time, a couple of years back, when she called you up at about 1 a.m. that she was having cramps, that she would love for you to drive all the way to her place at that time of the night? Can you remember? Yes. Good. And against my advice, you actually picked up your car keys, got into your car, turned on the ignition, turned around, and then you drove all the way from the mainland, picked up. To go see her on the island, 1 a.m. I don't understand. Is it wrong to show that you care for, for, for someone you love? No, 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 not at all. <laughs> it's nothing. It's just that sometimes when we do these things, we, we indulge them. But there is nothing wrong. All I am saying is that it makes no sense you complaining about your wife right now because you knew from day one that Stephanie is this way. So relax. Hey. How far? When I was done with the first fight. No, no, no. This is not what I'm talking about. Your friend. The one that, um, the single one that wants to be killed. Oh, that. Yes. She was not interested. Sorry. Why? I mean, you, you told me that she is also single, so what's the problem? Yes, she is, but she's so old school that she thinks matchmaking will make her look desperate. Hmm. I see. I see. Quite a shame, you know, I was actually hoping to, to meet with her, but... I'm so sorry, Edward. It's okay. I should have spoken to her first before telling you anything. I'm sorry. It's fine, Miss. You tried, okay? Thank you for trying. You're welcome. Sorry. It's fine. Bye. Bye. Good afternoon. Please, where is Rachel? She's inside. Who are you, please? Hmm? Her mother. Oh. Good afternoon, Ma. My name is Winifred. I'm, I'm her friend and her flatmate. Mm. Please come inside. You're welcome. <coughs> We weren't expecting you, Ma. This is such a surprise. Hmm? Sorry, Ma. Babe? Babe? You have a special guest. Mom, what are you doing here? I have come to buy vegetables and melon.
Babe, I think there's something wrong with our cable. How? Most of the channels are not working anymore. Oh no, I just changed the plan. I don't understand. I realized we didn't need the full bouquet, so I slashed it. Victor, why in the highest skies would you do that? All my favorite channels are on the full package. Well, it's simple. You just have to find new favorite channels on this plan. You're welcome once again, Ma. Thank you. Babe, I should go fix the guest room for you, Ma. Thank you. Biko. Who is this girl? My friend, Mommy. I'm very unpleased with this, your unannounced and uninvited visitor. I told you the last time I called to expect me. What if I had gone on a business trip? What if there was no one at home? What would you have done? Let's leave that and talk about what's important. What is your relationship? What relationship do you have with this girl? She's my friend. Why are you still asking that? She's your friend? Yes. She calls you babe. And you call her dear. Hey, hey, hey. You're scaring me. What do you mean I'm scaring you? You don't have a boyfriend at your age. You don't think marriage is important at your age. You are living with a girl who calls you babe and you call her dear at your age. I hope what I'm thinking is not correct. Mom! At your age. Babe, the washing machine is not working. Oh yes, um, I tried using it yesterday and noticed it was bad. Well, I need to wash my towels, the bed sheets and some of the curtains. Can I take it to the dry cleaner? Oh, no, no, no. No dry cleaning charges are outrageous. Hmm. How about you just hand wash them? You're staring at me like I asked you to commit suicide. Victor, did I do something that you're trying to punish me for? Wait, so me asking you to hand wash a few clothes is me punishing you? Oh, come on, Steph, stop being lazy. It's not funny, this is serious, it's very serious. Wait, it's funny. Winnie, like, your mom thinks we're more than friends. Winnie, seriously. Like, you and I. I'm being serious, so I'm being very serious. Can you imagine if she goes back to tell everyone this after having this kind of impression? Mm. <laughs> Can't have nonsense. <laughs> oh. 
Honestly, I won't blame her. I won't blame your mom. With all the abnormalities happening in the world right now, her thoughts will run wild. It's normal. It's so unfair. How society just overlooks a woman's career success and focuses only on her marital status. I mean, take me for example. I put in a lot of hard work to take my cake business to where it is today, mm. but I don't see anybody applauding me for it. We are women. I'm very sure your mom is proud of you. But all she's asking is that you make her even prouder. That's all. It's a plus. Hmm? It's fine. So, I uh, tell your colleague now, the one that you want me to meet, Edward. Huh. You remember his name? <laughs> It's fine, no. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, oh, well, I'm sure he was really angry when you told him I couldn't make it. Angry? The guy was sad. Like, I feel bad. Hmm. As well, I'm sure you've hooked him up with someone else already. Ray, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that a skillful way of asking if the guy is still available? I do. At this point, I have to be proactive. <laughs> I'm always thinking all sorts. Right? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, babe. I got you. Babe, hmm? it's something I've been thinking about for a while now, and um, I will be glad if you see reasons with me. Okay, what is it? You need to get a job. <laughs> Seriously, you need to find something to keep yourself busy. Victor... Silas, did you have a brain surgery that went bad? Do not insult me, Stephanie. It's a valid question, Victor, because I had a job which you told me to quit one month into our marriage, all because of your so-called insecurity, and I gladly obliged. Oh yes, it was convenient for you to resign without putting up a fight. You prefer being a stay-home wife. You are so unbelievable, Victor. So now it's my fault that I obeyed my husband's firm instruction to quit my job. Listen, Stephanie, you need to get another job, okay? Because if you were busy, you wouldn't have the time complaining about cable substation. Let me call me while I'm at the office to come and put on a generator for you. Why are you so frustrated? Why? <laughs> Hey, my dear. Good morning, ma. Good morning. <laughs> Give me a hug. Eh, eh. Nice good girl. Thank you, ma. How was your night? It was very well, thank mm. you. I see you had a restful one. Oh, so. yes, I did. I did. Thank you for being my daughter's good friend. Hmm? Yes, ma. So, um, how was the arrangement with um, Edward? Rachel told you about that already? No, but... um. A mother has a way of knowing these things. Okay. Mm. Okay, uh, I gave her number to Edward already and I think he called her and they're supposed to meet later today. Yay! <laughs> you know, the minute I stepped foot into this house and saw you, I knew you were God sent. Hmm? Thank, Thank you, ma. Thank you. What's going on here? 
Nothing. Nothing. Hello. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Stephanie. Happy birthday to you. Thank you so much, Mom. Long life and prosperity, my dear. Amen, no. Amen. How is your husband? He's fine. Your call just woke me up, Mom. I haven't seen him this morning. Well, thank you, Mom. <sighs> Mommy, me. I'm leaving. See you later. Wait, I thought you were supposed to meet Edward later today. Yes, he's taking me out for lunch today. Oh, so you have clothes and shoes and makeup in that bag? Uh, what do I need those for? You're going on your first date, dressed like this? I'm very comfortable in what I'm wearing. There's nothing wrong with it. Please, help me tell her she looks like she's going for choir practice. People should let me know. Babe, you can't go on a date like this. I won't let you ruin it. What's wrong with what I'm wearing? Fashion for me is comfort. And I'm very comfortable in what I'm wearing. My friend, you're not leaving this house dressed in that. Mm -hmm. People should leave me alone. Mm -hmm. mm. What? What is? Mm. What? What's all this now? Mm. Mommy, what is? What is this now? Like really? <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen, no, I claim it. <laughs> Thank you for the birthday wishes. Mm, Victor. Well, Victor went to work before I woke up this morning. But you know what? I know it's all part of his surprise party for me. <laughs> you know the way Victor likes to surprise me on my birthday. I know. <laughs> but wait. Are you sure you don't know about the party? Ah, uh, because I don't believe you. I'm not going to tell him. <laughs> no problem. I'll keep you posted. Okay, darling. That's fine. Okay. Thank you. I'll tell you. Bye. Right, later. <laughs> oh, it's my birthday. Yes. <laughs> See, you never get a second chance to make a good first impression. So my outlook is all that matters. Your outlook has to be attractive enough for him to want to know about your inlook. You have to show some sense of sophisticated fashion, else you turn him off. Mm -hmm. Are you okay in that dress or you want to change it? Oh, so now I get the option of choosing after the two of you kidnapped me here. Which wig do you prefer? These things are irritating, they're itchy and they cause heat. My friend, stop talking like a village girl and shut up. Look, you're not leaving this house until I'm satisfied with your dressing. Mm -hmm. I've told you my own. Rachel, you get used to the wings. Sit down. Let me fix your hand. Oh, thank you.
Thank you so much for the birthday wishes, my darling. Mm, nothing much. I'm just dressed up for whatever birthday surprise Victor has planned out. You know, I'm not gonna let him catch me on the ready like last year. <laughs> oh, um, someone's at the door. I think it could be my surprise party. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you later. I'll let you know how it all goes. Good day, madam. My name is Thomas. I am the technician of Graphic Talker to come check the 40 washing machine. What we're talking about. Eh? The only thing remaining now is a smile. Now, smile for me. You're so beautiful. I feel like there's load on my head, my face, and my feet. Fashion is pain, darling. It just needs some getting used to. You get used to it. Don't worry. Mm. Can I go now? Of course, darling. But have fun on your lunch dates. See? Okay. So, one step at a time, and she'll just get this to it. That's it. Bye! <laughs> it was a false alarm. Just some technician that came to fix the washing machine. Sis, let me talk to you later. Huh? I have to go. Can you imagine what that chairman was saying at the meeting? I just felt like punching him in the face. Uh, relax, man. Calm down. What's wrong with him? He must think I, I'm clever enough to ask me to be everywhere at the same time. How can I be in charge of marketing, allocation, project management, and human resources at the same time? Yeah, all at the same time. That is that's a lot of work. But look at it this way, Victor. Just maybe he believes that you are the 
man for the job, the only one he can trust. Oh, please don't patronize me. I tell you. <laughs> please, don't patronize me. He's just being wicked. And believe me, I owe him at least a slap before I leave this company. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Oh, why is that such a I've been listening in on this conversation and then look at that ego and then deliver that message. I'm not part of it, but look, overall, calm down, all right? These yeah. things happen. Uh, um, yeah, that reminds me. Um, I would like you to help me with the allocation files and send it to my office. And, and I appreciate if you can get to them right away. Oh, yeah, of course, I'll help you with it, but um, not now. I'm running off. I'll be out of here in a few. I have me a lunch date with my this friend, Rachel. Then call her and cancel. I really need your help. Now so, call her and cancel. Cancel fire. Very guy, relax, man. I'm trying to hook myself up and start a family like you do. You know what I'm saying? I will give you details later, man. Be good, eh? <laughs> so it's like that now? Yes, it's like that now. Eh? I'm trying to get myself moved up with someone. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> Wait for you for front.
Don't worry, Ma, your cake will be ready. Yeah, we never disappoint, Ma. And yeah, you can come pick it up yourself or um, make use of our delivery services. Okay, then we'll have it delivered to you by tomorrow. All right, Ma, thank you so much. Yes? Is he a customer? Oh, uh, yeah, um, send him in, yes. Oh my god. some um, really important clients and uh, I have to be on seat for that so um, I'm, I'm really sorry it's all right so I guess I'll just um, take my leave no 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 uh, it's fine like you can you can sit and we'll, and we'll talk okay great let's let's talk <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> going out? No. You just got back from an outing? No. I've been home all day. Ah, let me guess. Uh, you're trying not to dress to see if it still fits. So. It looks perfect still. Maybe. Um, no. I am famished. I had a really long day of work. So can you Get me dinner, and I hope you made my favorite, you know, pound deal and okra soup. <laughs> that would do me a lot of good. Everything okay? Edward told me you cancelled the lunch date, and I am wondering why. Can you two please just leave me alone? I've had a long day. Take. Thanks for your discomfort. <laughs> this girl wants to see my red eye, and I doubt she can handle it. Calm down, ma. Edward said they spent some time talking, chatting, and that she said she was going to call for another date. So why did she cancel today's one? I don't know. 
She wants to push the guy away. Don't worry. I'll talk to her. At her age. At her age. Okay. So, how was your day? Busy, as usual. What really happened with the lunch date arrangement? I cancelled because I tripped and I almost fell on my face because of the stupid heels you forced me to wear. Oh my god, so embarrassing. Did that happen in his presence? Yep. Ouch. I'm so I sorry. I could even walk to the door because I thought I was going to fall flat on my face. Ouch. <sighs> sorry, babe. You should wear it around the house so you get used to it. There's no need for that. <laughs> <laughs> babe, there's something about heels. It gives you this boss lady or this killer look to die mm. for. Yes, if I don't fall on my face and die from wearing them <laughs> first. <laughs> anyway, so when next are you going to call him up for another date? Never. What do you mean never? When it's not going to work. You're joking, right? I'm not. See... Edward and I talked a bit in my office before he left, mm -hmm. and I found out that he loves dogs. Like so, he has two big dogs and he plans to buy more when he moves to his new apartment. So? How's that deal breaker? I'm sinophobic. Like, I hate dogs. For heaven's sake, what's going on here? I am just in the mood to break things, Victor! <laughs> Will you behave yourself? What's the meaning of this madness? Oh, you are lucky I'm not breaking it on your head! And I'm breaking it on this floor! What's going on? Yesterday was my birthday! My first birthday in this thing called marriage! My father, my father, Abba Father, you are the one that gave Rachel to me. And you said in your word, go ye into the world and multiply. But the reason my own Rachel has refused to multiply, I have no idea. Eh? My father, my father, Abba Father, I know this is a spiritual battle. I know there are forces pulling her in the spirits. I know, oh my father, Abba Father. I hereby come against every spirit of singleness about father, my father. Imagine, she refused a guy because he has dogs. About father, what kind of, what kind of excuse is this? My father, my father, about father. Satan, I know you have failed concerning my daughter, Rachel. I hereby call thunder and fire Mommy. and... What? Stop. Stop what? Can't I pray again? Stop. Stop. Disturbing God, he probably has plenty of prayer requests to attend to. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Edward and I are not compatible, Mom. Because he has dogs? Amongst other things. Why are you doing this to me? All my friends, all their children are married. They have children too. They call them grandma, grandma, grandma. At my age, I don't have grandchildren. At my age, I'm not married. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll give it a little. Yeah. 
Come on! What were you thinking? You know how women can be. Why did you forget her birthday? Why? Now people forget things. Why are you talking like this? Moreover, we don't have the time to remember birthdays when we are going through modernized slavery in this office. Oh, come on, bitch. I mean, you've always celebrated her birthday in Grandstand. Uh, you want to throw this girl surprise birthday parties? What happened this time around? My point exactly. You see, for three years back to back, I celebrated the birthday for her. I told her surprise parties. She should be able to let this one go. Mm. <laughs> uh, let me ask you, Vic. Please just help me. What's the motivation for going out of your way? To impress her two, three years ago. I love her, I still do. Are you sure you do? What sort of stupid question is that? Of course I love my wife. Eh? I'm saying cause that it's hard to believe these days. I mean, given the way you've been carrying on with her, I mean you don't longer behave like you're crazy about a woman. So I agree with her. If she's bringing down the roof and complaining about, you know, your nonchalance towards her. I don't understand you right now. You know what? If you don't have anything encouraging to say, just please go, go in the bed. Oh, that relax. You forgot your wife's birthday. Uh... <laughs> I'm out of here before you shoot me, man. Hi, Edward. Hey. Hi. Hello. <laughs> oh my goodness, you look beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. So shall we? Yes. You're ready? Yes. Great. After you. Alright. Okay, guys. Yeah. Have fun. Don't hurry to come back, Ray. Hey, what's going on? I think we rushed into this marriage too soon. Hey, don't talk like that. I liked it when we were dating. We were so simple, so happy together. But babe, we're still happy together. No, it's not the same. Now it feels like I have to force you to do everything you used to do naturally, Victor. But babe, it's just one birthday out of so many to come. There's another one next year. I promise not to forget. It's not just about the birthday. You've changed. You're a different person, Victor. I think it's best we give each other some space so we don't waste our time. What does that even mean? It means I am leaving. It's obvious you need to clear your head and let me know if this marriage was not a mistake. You are Am I?
Yes, Adam, I can hear you. Yes, have you fed the dogs? Good. Have you also given them water? Oh, okay. okay. Very, very, very good. Uh, remember I told you, Adamu, can you hear me? I told you before I drove out to clean, uh, to clean their cage. Did you do that? Have you done it? What? You're sorry. What do you mean you're sorry, Adamu? Are you, are you playing with your job? Do you realize I'll be very upset if I come back and you haven't taken care of those, those dogs and I cleaned the cage? You're sorry. And I'm, if I come back to that house and you have not <clears throat> done everything that I told you to do, you will not like it. Good. Get on, get on it right now. Bye. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. That was my, that was my good man. You know. It's okay. Um, I see you're very passionate about your dogs. Oh yes, I don't joke with my dogs. I, I don't joke with my dogs at all. You know what they say? You know, the dog is a man's best friend. Yeah. I, I am quite um, very good with dogs. I, I hope you, you like dogs too. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I bet I will. Well, I love to play with dogs, you know. Sometimes you're just home and then, you know, they, they're just all over you. It's, it's really, really yeah. nice. I hope you're great with dogs as well. Hmm? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm really good with dogs. That's nice. Yeah. That's very good. Mm. Um, Rachel, mm? can I ask you some personal questions? Sure. How many kids would you like to have? Excuse me? How many kids would you um, like to have? Uh, how about I throw that back to you? I promise I'll answer after you do. Oh, not a problem. Uh, for me, as much as possible. Excuse me? <coughs> Sorry? You said? Are you alright? Yeah. As many as possible kids. I, mean, I, I love a big family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love a big family. So, you know. So tell me, how about you? How many kids would you like to have? <clears throat> as, as, as many as possible as well. Amazing. Yeah. Um, a large family is ideal. Great. <laughs> great, great, great. Great. Mm. Uh, right. What is your opinion? about your mother-in-law leaving with you and your husband. I'd like to know what you think. Um, well, my mother-in-law, well, I, uh, I think it's okay. Yeah, it's, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, she, she's the, she's the woman that gave birth to my, my husband, so. Boy, where have you been all my life? <laughs> huh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Winifred. Ma? I'll be going back to Abuja tomorrow morning. Okay. I have left a lot of things unattended. Okay. Mm. Okay. Please then, eh? make sure you finish the good work you started. Okay, ma, no problem. Don't allow Rachel to push Edward away. No problem. I'll give her all the help she needs. Thank you. Good girl. All I want to hear in the next couple of months will be wedding bells. <laughs> Ashwebi. <laughs> No problem, ma. Thank you. Oh. 
This is serious. But did she tell you where, where she was going? She's at her parents. Why did you let her go in the first place? Her mind was made up. She kept going on and on about how I have changed and how she prefers me as a boyfriend to a husband. No, 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 no. Look, I don't know what you're saying to me. What I need to know is what do you intend to do about the situation? Edward, the only constant thing in life is change. How does she expect me to remain the same? Ah, uh, well, I am... Um... I do not intend to hurt your feelings more, but um, the truth is, you, Victor, your friend, I will tell you, you single-handedly built this marriage on lies. I watched you. I watched you for three years. I watched you pretend to be who you are not. You got lost in your quest to win that woman over. Hmm? I can't even argue with that. You know, she doesn't even know I got demoted at work. And uh, that's what's been destabilizing me emotionally. I even keep a street tap on every commencement. But that woman is your wife. You're going through a rough time. You tell her. Why will you not tell her that you got demoted? I don't want her to see me as a loser. Huh. Remember I asked her to quit her job. But I didn't want any man messing around with my woman. And then two months later I got demoted. Uh, Victor. What is going on? Are you having trust issues with your wife? Because you just said now that you don't want somebody messing with her. Edward is here. Oh. I've been expecting him. Auntie, where are you going to? You said Edward is here. I'm going to see him. Like this. Tidy up a bag. <laughs> I don't understand. So I can't even be myself at home. Men are moved by what they see. Uh -uh. Package small, how about? So I should now wear heels and wig and makeup in the house? Not heels. At least a nice dress, light makeup. Look presentable. Please. You look beautiful. Thank you. Hi. I forgive me, I'm sorry, I am. Um, I'll be late. It's fine. Yeah. I have to go see a friend. It's fine. I mean, it's not like it's an official appointment or anything. Ah uh, yeah. You see, my friend is going through a rough patch in his marriage. Hard time for him. His wife just moved out of their home. Oh wow, that sounds very serious. Yeah, it is serious. Uh, maybe it's his fault, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Let's just say he wasn't um, true to himself before marriage. How so? Oh, um, I don't know, for some reason he became everything that he's not while they were dating. And now that they are married, he's having a hard time, you know, keeping up with most of those things. Uh, it's bringing about some kind of friction. Hmm. 
Hey, you need to come back home. So you can continue to maltreat me. And Victor. I was saying maltreat Listen, you. Marriage is not a do or die affair. I will understand if you tell me you thought you loved me enough to have married me. But now you've realized you were wrong. Hey, don't be like that. You know I still love you very much. Victor, you don't. I'm giving you an easy way out of you, so please take it. Okay. Can you come to the house so that we talk about this? Please. I think we should go back to dating and stay like that. But that doesn't make any sense. Well, I'm afraid that's all I can give you. It's either that or nothing. Okay, man, just... Can we at least talk about this in person? Please. This is impressive. Thank you. Really impressive. Uh, this is good. So should I take this to, to Victor? No, wait. So how's it going with you and my homegirl? What does she say about me? Answer me first. I like her. Like? Yes, I like her. Just like. Well, I don't intend to date your friend. For long. What do you mean? I thought you my friend is not in for games. I thought you wanted something serious, not some short-term fun. Uh, Winnie, Winnie, relax, relax. Okay? I mean that I do not intend to date her for so long without proposing to her. Oh. Yes, really. <laughs> you like her that much? Yes, I do. Oh. I, she's a sweetheart, I do. I do. I, I wouldn't want to jump into saying that I love her, you know, so I don't sound unrealistic and vague, but um, she makes my heart beat in a special way, and then I'm really connected to her. Okay, but I tell you this, and I give you my word that um, I will not make you regret hooking me up with such a So happy to have met your friend. Okay. yesterday. She still insists on having a time apart. Oh boy. Is she going for a divorce? I don't know. What I know is I can't live without my wife. Oh no, of course you shouldn't live without your wife. You should fight for your marriage. Do everything that you can to ensure that she comes back home. But when she comes back home this time around, Vic, you need to be honest. Do you understand? You have to be honest. Honesty is key. In every relationship that has to succeed, honesty is very important. Oh, no, it 
It's, it's okay. It's okay. All right. It's fine. Can I give you expo? I trust you keep it to yourself. About what? You and Edward. Wait. So you and Edward have been discussing me at work, yeah? He has plans to propose to you soon. Excuse me. Aren't you lucky? Uh, Muni, Edward and I haven't known each other that long. Why is he talking marriage? See this babe, Instead of you to go to church on Sunday, pick the mic up and do Thanksgiving. How many guys these days date with genuine intentions? I just don't think we know a lot of things about each other. And forever is a long time to just jump into. My sister, I know Edward. If there's anything you want to know, ask her. I will tell you free of charge. Winnie, you don't understand. Yes, I understand that Edward is a great guy. And possibly the only reliable single guy left on the planet. Thank you. For what? For coming back home. How did you know I didn't come to take the rest of my belongings? I'm sorry. I love you. did you change? I didn't change. I've been under a lot of pressure. So much has been happening and I've just been trying to stabilize things. What do you mean? You have a great job. You have a woman who loves you. Well, until you took her for granted. I didn't take you for granted. I will never do that. I got demoted at work. And it's been affecting my sanity. When did this happen? Four months into our marriage. Barely two months after I asked you to quit your job. So the company changed management and the new management started downsizing. They let some people go, demoted some staff, even slashed salaries. Some of my colleagues left, but I was going to do that when I found something better. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't know how you would take the news. I didn't want to lose you. You see? I was right. We rushed into this marriage too soon. Babe, don't say that. I'll be courted for three years. Yet you don't even know me. Oh, that's not true. What bothers me 
is that you think that I would bail on you all because you got demoted from work. And you didn't tell me. What kind of woman do you think I am? Babe, I'm, I'm sorry. I should have known better. You should have. Yes, yeah, so for you. <laughs> what do you mean for me? Yeah, some stuff. I think it's high time you have your own instead of me borrowing your eye all the time. We need. We have to. You go. You know I'm still uncomfortable in these things, right? You should just keep quiet. You wait for a couple of weeks and you get used to it. What's this? Waist trainer, bush girl. I said, wait, it's, it's for you, right? You! Three hours a day, the results in two months. That's what it does. Mm. You wear it. You. Here we are, boy. Boom. <laughs> Dig in. What is this? Cupcakes. Rachel sent it over. Yeah. Looks good, huh? <laughs> I see. Well, I'll pass. Oh, really? Hmm. And I see you guys are getting the room for it. Oh, yeah, we are getting along really, really fine. I tell you, look. God is a total package. I'm telling you, she's responsible, she's hardworking, and then she's beautiful. You know, I, I, I don't know, but for some reason, though, we agree on a lot of things, you know. Oh, yeah, you know, our thinking is really, really alike, so that works. You know. Lucky you. Thank you. How is um, Mrs. Silas? <sighs> yeah, I don't think she would want to be called that. Uh, what is it? You two haven't talked. Um, she came over to the house. We talked and told her about me getting to my job at the office. And that was the reason why the um, market so sensitive to our meeting. Okay, and um, what did she say? She got upset and uh, she left. Mm. She was upset that I didn't trust her with enough to. Uh, you know that you stand by me, my friend. It's okay. You know what? Give her some time. Oh, well, give her some time. She will come around, I believe. And what's most important is that you've gone ahead to tell her the truth. So, it's fine. Alright? What will be, will be, bro. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Why are you so young? Try, just my wrap up. Stop whining and try, I'll be happy for me. <laughs> try. <laughs> Festival. Oh, is it that bad? No, you try. It's not that bad. Don't worry. I'll make it look better, okay? That's all. I don't think I can ever get used to the makeup thing. The heels, the hair. You don't have a choice. You have to. Because every man wants their woman to look beautiful all the time. It's official with me. Mm -hmm. 
not artificial. A woman's life has too many wahalas already. We don't need the extra. Unfortunately, we don't have a choice. We have to get used to it and embrace the pain of fashion. Okay? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, thanks once again for the for the cupcakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really really tasty. I liked it. You're welcome. And yeah, how's your friend the the one that his wife moved out of the house? Oh, that one. I I'm afraid it looks to me like that marriage is over. Yeah, they haven't settled yet. <laughs> I mean, you don't, you don't choose to be one thing today and then you decide to change when you get married. It never works that way. Mm. You know, you be yourself from mm. the beginning. You know, you start. Yeah. You know what? I agree with you. Yes. And because I agree with you, I'm just going to do this. Rachel. Oh my god, this thing has been choking my neck all night. Jesus. How did they, how did they get it off? get this thing off and it's choking me. Edward, I'm just going to be straight with you, okay? I hate weaves. I hate weaves or any of those things. I hate makeup. Like, I hate heels. I don't wear them on the usual. On, 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 on the usual. And yes, I hate dogs. Like, I absolutely detest them. And, Edward, I don't want to have as many kids as possible. Like, seriously, is it auto I just want two kids, boys or girls, it doesn't really matter. And no, I don't want my mother-in-law to move into the house with me. Like, who does that? It almost always ends up badly. Oh my god, this thing is pretty my god. Um, Edward, like, I know this probably means that it's, it's over with us, but I need to get home and take off the waist trainers. Dude, it's choking the life out of me. So, it's it's fine. I get it. I'm sorry. I know you're a great guy. But, it's, it's fine. Hey, wait. Look, you forgot your earring. story with your irrationality. I was, I was, I'm tired of pretending. It is not pretense, Rachel. It is called keeping up with the trend, compromise and packaging. Oh, really? There's a thin line between packaging and being a fake life, okay? I cross that line by pretending to like everything that he likes just to make you and mom happy. Men don't know what they like. Men don't know what they like. You have to present yourself as their dream girl, even if it requires a bit of pretense. That is how you keep a man. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not going to build my marriage on pretense and dishonesty. Listen, Rachel. No, you listen, Winifred. Listen. There's an alarming rate of divorce in the world right now, and I'm not going to add to that rate, okay? The best precaution is to make sure that I'm as open-minded and honest with my life partner as possible. Your mom is not going to like this. Well, I don't care, Winifred. <laughs>
I didn't know you'd be home so early. I'm almost done making dinner. Are you back home for good or do you just here to make dinner to eat later? What do you think? Hmm? Hey, man. Sorry for everything. It's okay. I promise I'm going to get a job to support us. Richard. I married you because I love you. And I will always be there for you. I love you too, babe. Promise me one thing. Anything. That from today, you will treat me like a girlfriend you don't want to lose. Babe, I give you my word again that I will make a conscious effort to treat you better. Even better than a girlfriend. Treat you like the queen that you are. What are you doing here? How dare you, Rachel? How dare I what? How dare you awaken my love for you without intention to love me back? Or give us a chance to try. I'm sorry, Edward. But a broken relationship is better than a broken marriage. What makes you think that I do not prefer you without the makeup? The weave and the heels. Even if that was true, we still can't be together. Why? You like dogs. I hate dogs. Love, Rachel. It's about sacrifices and compromise. How can I choose a dog over you? You want as many children as possible. I just want to. That was a joke, Rachel. No man in his right senses in this time and age will want as many kids as possible. That was a joke. Okay, the mother-in-law issue. I really don't want my mother-in-law moving into our matrimonial home. You would not have to if you agreed to marry me, Richard. Because I lost my mother. Ten years ago. What was all the questions about the it other day? It was a random question, but you took it personal. I was just talking. Look, Richard, I think that you and I should just start all over again and, you know, get to know each other this time around for real. Okay? I see if this would work. Because I really do like you. Ray, be reasonable. He's asking for the opportunity for you to put all the cards on the table. It's a fair deal if you ask me. Winnie, if we need your opinion, we'll ask you. Sorry. Hi, Edward. Hello. <sighs> okay. It's fine, but we have to start from the beginning and we'll be just friends and take things slow. What's for me? <laughs> 